Good afternoon YouTube friends, how are we all doing today? Today I've got a wee fun bike here This weekend is the Yamaha Live event So if you're down at a Yokohama Yamaha dealership there's loads of bikes to test So just now I've got this wee R7 to try for half an hour or so So I don't have it too long So I'm going to go out now have a wee kind of first thought of this and see what it's like It's been a long, long time since I've ridden any kind of sports related bike So this feels very strange to me initially The riding position is totally different from what I'm used to But eh... Uh, oh, it's a fun little bike I'm not going to go over the full technical specifications of the bike For two reasons, I don't really have time to do that And also eh... Uh, it's all online, if you want to look that information up, everything's there So, first impressions Looks wise, this is an absolutely stunning looking bike uh, This is in the anniversary colour, so it's the white, red, with yellow And it's beautiful It's quite a light bike, I think the dry weight from memory is 188 kilos So riding position, as you would expect for a, a small sports bike, is very tucked up My legs and feet are quite high, quite set back from what I'm used to And I'm canted way far forward um, I'm quite short at 5 foot 6, 29 inch height leg So I'm not a tall person and I feel, uh, not squashed, but I feel quite comfortable in this bike So if you are a tall rider, uh, you may have some issues Mirrors Rubbish <laughs> I can't really see anything behind me uh, To speak of, so Not ideal Maybe I'm just used to kind of Sports Tourer style mirrors, but not ideal um, Looking down at the, the dashboard of the bike You've got a very clear TFT display uh, One thing I do like about this bike is the simplicity of it uh, You don't really have any ride, well you don't have any rider modes It's a uh, bog standard You've got traction control and that's about your lot So a nice simple bike So we'll go down this wee sort of more twisty route uh, And see what it's like uh, Bars, you've got the drop bars uh, Of course your clip ones for your sports uh, style bikes uh, Well that's 60 mile an hour already Better slow down a bit So what does the bike feel like initially? So as I'm sure you're aware, this is one of the ever-growing two-cylinder uh, machines that are out there <laughs> With a 270 degree crank And there's lots of torque, uh, as you inherently get from a, a twin Nice and low down, so you don't need to be shifting gears all the time, you can relax a wee bit Oh, that's fun <laughs> The handling is very precise, I can put it exactly where I want in the road with no issues Got a tractor coming up here so I can't go to crack a jack The bike also has a quick shifter uh, fitted which works above 4000 rpm It's quite smooth No issues with it Right, third gear Don't want to overtake on yet What are we doing now? Up in order, this is pretty quick. It's, in my opinion, one of the best looking bikes out there. With the amount of power and torque you've got, it's absolutely spot on for everyday use. It's not overly powerful at like your thousand cc's and all that stuff. Front brake is really powerful back brake's pretty good as well oh it's a beautiful handling machine it's actually amazing how quick you get used to a different riding position I feel okay on it now, at first I was like oh this is weird but uh, I feel okay, a wee bit of counter steering, oh that responds beautifully to a wee bit of counter steering 
uh, changes will end no problems. As you would expect uh, for a sports bike, you don't have a huge amount of weather protection. But this little screen in front of me here is it's doing a fine job, it's pushing the air up above my helmet, so I don't have any buffeting or anything. Uh, so it's fine. But with me being used to larger, more touring style bikes, uh, I'm used to more weather protection in this. What I'm feeling is the wind is hitting me in my, my legs quite a bit. So there's not much protection off the fairing. I've only got this for a, a wee half an hour so I can't go too far or spend a long time on it. But my first impressions are it's it's nice. Personally I think the weight I've got on my wrists could be a problem after a period of time. But I'll just take a break. Okay so twin cylinder engine and I I can't really feel much in the way of vibration. There's a very slight vibration through the bars, but it's nothing to concern me. Except we're not excessive. Wouldn't result in me getting numb hands or anything like that. Through the seat, no, no vibration at all. You can't feel anything through the pegs either. Take a wee right here and we'll head to the Donald. So brakes are really good. Bike is very responsive. And we open up the power. <laughs> well, behave, 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 Alan, behave. It's not my bike. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to have time to do a, a walk round like I usually do. So when I stop, I'll try and get some uh, footage around about the bike. Quick shifter takes a fair bit of force to get it to change. Changing up is fine. Just changing down takes a wee bit of force. So this bike is totally standard. Uh, standard exhaust. It would come as it comes out the showroom. I think it sounds quite nice. Excuse me. I think it sounds quite nice. It's uh, the standard can, but it's got a nice noise to it. And that'll be the, the 270 crank will help that. It's got a wee bit of engine braking on it, but nothing, not too much. It's, it's not like your V-twins, where you, you roll off and it's like, this is away you go, speed drops. Uh, it's not as, as pronounced as that. I was speaking of the exhaust, it is actually a wee bit quiet. It sounds nice, it's just not very loud. Quite smooth in the throttle, there's no jerkiness. Uh, I'm quite low revs just now, but well, 3000 revs in third gear. So this is probably what you would do about town. And it's uh, it's quite smooth. I know some people have noted uh, about this here, your clutch cable obstructing the, the dials. I don't really have too much of a problem with that, I can't see my Pedometer at the very bottom, but I can see the speedo fine. This road's in not very good condition, so we'll just take it a bit easier. Suspension, this is a good test. Uh, the suspension is firm, but comfortable. I can feel all the road bumps, but it's not jarring my teeth out. So it's perfectly adequate. So this demo has come from MCS, Yamaha and Hurlford, just at Kilmarnock. So if you're in the, the market for a new Yamaha, uh, give them a shout. If you ask for Alan and Greg at sales, and you've got Leslie uh, in as well. All really nice, all really helpful. So give them a shout if you're looking for a Yamaha and they'll hook you up. Well, I'm sure a good deal. So, Yamaha R7, my thoughts on this bike then, it's a fun bike, it's a, a reasonable price for what you're getting, it's quite good value for money. It, yeah, granted there's no rider modes on it, but for this kind of bike I don't think it's needed. I think if you're looking for uh, a mid-capacity sports bike that's not going to cost a fortune and looks good, this is the one to go for. 
really good fun. Uh, I haven't really gone round town, so I can't speak about slow speed stuff, but I don't anticipate it would be a problem. The clutch is pretty light. Um, try to think. I mean, what? I'm being, I mean, I'm being picky and not, I can't, I can't fault it. If anything, it's just a riding position, but it's a sports bike, so that's just a personal preference thing. Uh, it's maybe a wee bit too aggressive for me. But I cannot fault it. Maybe, if I was being really critical, I'd maybe say the quick shift is a wee bit in the, the lumpy side. Not quite as smooth as I would hope. Uh, when I had the MT on, or when I had the Tracer, I don't remember that quick shift for shift, quick shifter being as lumpy. So there we go.